Today we are going to be discussing major leaks related to an amazing yet underrated game released by Capcom, Resident Evil Code Veronica. For those unfamiliar, Resident Evil Code Veronica originally released in the year 2000 introduced us to the intense and gripping story of Claire Redfield as she fought to survive the horrors of the Oshford family's private island. An official remake for the game hasn't been announced by Capcom, but I promise you, by the end of this video, you will not only believe that a remake is coming, but know interesting details about it due to a quite juicy leak. So let's get straight into this. Let us start with some facts. Last year, fans decided to take it upon themselves to create a remake for Resident Evil Code Veronica. Trailer for the remake was being loved and appreciated by the community. But about 5 months ago, it was shut down by Capcom. Capcom threatened legal action against this fan remake saying that they are using their copyrighted assets. Capcom doesn't shut down all the fan projects, Resident Evil 1 Remake is a perfect example for this, which was remade by fans and loved by the community. So shutting down Resident Evil Code Veronica fan remake was quite surprising for the fans, unless they are planning on to remake the game themselves. Next fact is that more remakes are 100% coming. As Capcom did a survey recently and towards the end of the survey, they clearly asked fans for which game do they want to be remade. So in all in all, we are guaranteed more remakes. Now let's get on to a recent leak about Resident Evil Code Veronica Remake. Brace yourselves as this information could be a bit difficult to digest. The first thing you need to know is that Resident Evil Code Veronica is being developed since mid-2021 by M2. In parallel with Resident Evil 4 Remake, it will be the one that will receive the most reimagination treatment. The remake already being in development does add up to Capcom banning the fan remake. And getting the most reimagination makes sense. Since, unlike original Resident Evil 4, it was a fixed camera game and was not as big as previous reimagined games, so Capcom could get away with doing big changes. The game is planned to be revealed in 2024 and released in 2025. This is pretty straightforward, however, I have few comments about this later which concern what I have cut out above. Capcom's recent researches has nothing to do with Code Veronica since it is already in development for about 2 years. The duration will be considerably higher in comparison to the original, about 14 to 15 hours. If you focus on the main objectives in the original game, it would be around 12 hours long. So duration being increased up to 14 to 15 hours is quite the change. This also adds up to the most reimagination part. The intro will be extended featuring Claire before invading the Umbrella base. I will talk more about this in just a minute. Some areas will be redesigned almost beyond recognition and the game will feature new areas. I think this has to be done because original game was made about 24 years ago. So to make it work in today's time, they simply have to make big changes. The idea of adding new area makes me more excited about the remake. I just hope they don't go over the board with it. This game is being developed in RE Engine, being very similar to the previous predecessors in terms of gameplay and graphics. The graphics and gameplay of recent remake RE4 was amazing and Capcom bringing Code Veronica to the same level is great to hear. The intro will feature Claire's apartment researches, Claire invading the base and also some narrations, retelling some events of previous games. Now extending the intro and giving more context to the stories also done in Resident Evil 4 Remake. It would only make sense if they apply it to Code Veronica's remake. Rodrigo will free Claire and return back items that were confiscated and also give the player side quests giving items in return if you accomplish them. This is also pretty straightforward and we also have seen the same apply to RE4 Remake, so it only makes sense. She will no longer be a minor but an 18 year old adult 
His role will be largely extended as he will be playable in more sections and also will follow clear during some parts, allowing the players to reach areas previously unreachable. Okay, now this is a major story and dynamic change. We will have to see how this plays out. A anxiety bar will be added to Claire and Steve along with a new type of herb with orange color that will serve to reduce anxiety levels. High levels of anxiety will result in several drawbacks like hallucination and distorted vision. Okay, now this is new. Honestly, makes me more excited for the game. Although it sounds untrue, but I felt the same when it was leaked that Ashley would have no health bar in Resident Evil 4 Remake. So something like this is not out of the question. Alfred will not cross-dress as Alexia anymore. Instead, she will be a clone of the true Alexia. Okay, now this is a change I like because cross-dressing thing is just cringe. The tyrant will be a stalker during the game, similar to Mr. X in Resident Evil 2. I don't know about this. Okay, now last but not the least, Wesker will be more present in the game, leaving notes during the gameplay and dialoguing in cutscenes with the siblings. Alright guys, these were the leaks floating around and please take them with a grain of salt as you should with all these leak videos. There's one thing I forgot to say. Earlier, it was stated that Resident Evil Code Veronica will be released in 2025 which I doubt because Code Veronica is being remade since 2021 alongside RE4 and Resident Evil 9. So if Code Veronica will release in 2025, then when will Resident Evil 9 release?